In this video, you will learn how to connect to a relay to use PCM600. You will need to connect to a relay utilizing PCM600 in order to read data from the relay, to update firmware, and to install software and hardware modifications. To connect to the relay, you need both physical connection and communication between the relay and laptop. For the physical connection, a cable is used to connect the laptop to the relay using either the relay's front or rear port. In PCM600, you need to select which port you are using by right-clicking on the relay, selecting communication port, and choosing the front or rear port. To enable the laptop and relay to communicate, they need to be on the same network and have the same technical key in the relay and in the software object within PCM600. To get information from inside the relay, you need to navigate to the relay and then go inside. The network provides the way to travel, but the technical key opens the door. The relay's front port has DHPC service, which means that it will automatically assign an IP address and network parameters to the laptop so that they can communicate. If you are using the rear port, you will need to manually change the laptop's IP address to one that is on the same subnetwork as the relay's IP address in order to connect to the relay. To get the relay's IP address, browse through the menu on the relay LHMI to select configuration that select communication. Select Ethernet and then select Rear Ports. Here you can see the IP address for the relay. In PCM600, once you have connected to the rear port, you can enter the correct IP address in the object properties. You can see that you are connected when a green tick appears next to the relay. To set the technical key, right-click on the relay in PCM600 and select Technical Key in IED. This will make sure that the relay and the PCM600 software are using the same key. You can see that the relay is connected when a green tick appears next to it in PCM600. If a cross appears, you need to check that you have correctly set the IP address, that the cable between the relay and the computer is properly connected, and that the technical key is set correctly. Once you have established communication with the relay, there are many things that you can do, such as installing updates or modifications. For all of these, you need to start by finding the primary information, such as the serial number of the relay. There are three ways you can find the serial number. On the Relay LHMI display, in PCM600, and on Web HMI. You can find the serial number by clicking the LHMI display on the relay, open the menu and browse through to select information, and then select Product Identifiers. Here you can see the serial number of the relay. You can also find the serial number in PCM600 if you have a live connection to the relay to read the parameters from the relay. Open IED configuration and then open Information. Right-click on the product identifiers and choose Parameter setting to see the serial number of the relay. You will need to read the information from the IED to make sure that it is correct. Click on Read Parameters from IED. Click OK and then select to read the product identifiers. Click OK to import the data. The final way to connect to the relay is to use the web HMI by entering the relay's IP address into your internet browser. Enter your username and password to log in. Under Device, select Information. This will show the product identifiers, including the relay's serial number. To finish, let's recap the steps involved in connecting to the relay. To connect to the relay, first, 
form a physical connection between the relay and the laptop by connecting a cable to the laptop and either the front or rear port of the relay. Then establish communication between the relay and laptop by setting the laptop IP address to the same subnetwork as the relay and by making sure they use the same technical key.